This week, Tycho Arts Midwest visited the University of Wisconsin Superior to give students and community members a taste of what Tycho drumming is all about. Producer Megan McGarvey traveled across the bridge to learn more about Tycho and its future as a performance art. The thing about Tycho is you can talk about it, which we do, but it isn't until you hear and feel it in your body. So that's why we love to take the drums around and help people experience it. It hits the human heart right here and kind of resonates throughout the body. And it's just super uplifting and a way to share energy back and forth. Tycho hooked me in my early 20s. I'd never heard of it before. I didn't know what it was. And Rick Shiomi uh, rolled in one drum and he played 20 seconds worth, and I just thought it was so dynamic. I'd never seen anything like it. I'm like, what is this? You have to show me how to do that. I didn't know you knew how to do that. That's incredible. And so I've been doing it now for over two decades, and it's my passion to share this art with as many people as possible. I'm a Korean adoptee. I was raised in Minot, North Dakota. So I had no exposure to this art form or to the community or even to my own sense of Asian American identity. You know, at that time, it was really hard to find anything in the media that really, really connected with. Uh, and so, you know, seeing myself represented, seeing other people, seeing a community of people gather around this art form, it was very empower empowering and sort of, just opened my mind and my life to a whole new era, I guess. I don't think I would know who I am if I hadn't found taiko drumming somehow. And so, you know, being a Korean adoptee, I don't have any sort of direct claim to this art form that has, you know, its roots in Japanese culture, but it's been very much embraced by the Asian American culture in North America, and it kind of um, grew in popularity around the same time as the whole Asian American movement. These drums, there's like the human is the centerpiece along with these huge pieces of art really. They're, they're made from a single tree trunk and many of them are a folk art really that we're playing with and the, the thunder of them is just an incredible, like it's a vehicle, like we could be great but the sound of them is just from another world and it's athletic, it's like dance, it's like it's a music instrument, it's many things all rolled up in one as well as for me it's it's a grounding into the earth and a connection between the human world, the natural world and the spirit world. So it's a very very special many layered authentic cultural experience. The drums speak to everyone, uh, but it's only been, you know, from the beginning, men on the stage getting a chance to do it or direct it or narrate the, the story. And so women actually have been doing it alongside, um, but in some cases not allowed onto the stage um, or only allowed to dance. Um, so the beautiful thing about this project is we pulled together all of those women from around the world. We pulled 18 people who have been off, you know, in the sidelines or isolated. And we made a huge center stage and created a huge project just for us. And then had a huge sold out concert with 2,000 seats. And we decided to make a film about it. Finding Her Beat is the first full length documentary film to feature women and Tycho. We documented several years of a journey in bringing the Avengers style gathering, the world's best women and non-binary Tycho players together for the first time ever in a historic concert. Three years ago, four years ago, we went into like a shutdown of darkness and everybody had to do some soul searching. And now people are tired of the old way and want to do like all these new buds and new plants and new projects and new people are being seen in ways that we just haven't seen before. So it's an incredibly um, powerful time. And I think people are super thirsty to see these other stories of people who've been in the margins or have been left out of the story up until now. What's been up with these people? Look at all the life and the brilliance and the creativity that's been going on in the dark. And you can feel it's just sort of this larger movement for these, not just Asian women, but for anyone who's been marginalized that, you know, if you're not invited to the table, make your own table. You know, it's like we've had enough of waiting for somebody to kind of reach down and pluck us up. We're ready to like, 
just rethink the whole system. And I think that's the energy behind Finding Her Beat. And um, it's an energy of sort of a larger movement that I want to be a part of.